Okay, uh, back. Had to take a text. An important one. Here we are. Just finished up inking Wildcat and scanning it real quick. And I'm just going to color real quick with color pencils. Uh, I mention this every time, but I'm kind of under a rush because I'm just trying to do this during my break at work. Um, otherwise, I would spend more time, do a little better job. But I only have so much time. I'm referencing a screenshot I just took out of a, one of the episodes that was on somebody had uploaded to YouTube. It's a 480p video, which is usually my minimum resolution that I can draw from. But they had to shrink the, the video in the frame. And so it's even though it's that resolution, it's even smaller. So by the time I get a screenshot of that, it's just not a lot to work on. It's one of the frustrating things about these drawings I've been doing. It's very hard to not only see the lines, but to Let's get the colors right. So I have another window open with a still that I found to try and help match colors, but <laughs> both of them are a lot different though, so I'm getting kind of all kind of different stuff here. Oh well. Even if I could tell exactly, I don't have the color pencils to match it, so. <laughs> In the end, it's uh, really limited to what color pencils I have here and a, it's a 30 pencil set that I have. I just a cheap crayon and color pencils. You'd be surprised though with color pencils, even a few in number, what you can do, what you can get out of them if you sort of use them to blend together and um, how you use them, like the, the different colors together, like you can really get a lot out of a few colors. Uh, his little eye mask there is like a little light purple. A little hard to tell what that is actually. Maybe this is okay. What do you think? Is this sunglasses? Is it safety glasses he's wearing? Is it just a style thing? I don't know. Got like a reddish brown on top of his nose, which is really hard to see in the frame I have. It's just that little bit right there. Um, pink tongue. I'm just going to go ahead and leave black inside of his mouth. It's, I think it's, they usually end up doing like a dark red, but again, it's, I can barely see it in the frame that I have here. I also realized by looking at another picture, there's some things missing in this frame. Like one is he has an ear here. Of course, that hand I think is covering it. And, and he has big bushy eyebrows. And that's important because that's actually really part of his character. 
We'll do those dark, dark ones right now. And also, his hands are pretty much covering it there, but I wanted to make sure if you look close, you actually see these important parts of his character. And also, the way his hair in this frame, because he's running, it's blowing back, um, so it doesn't have the typical look that it usually has on his head. Uh, and I think it's really hard to tell this screenshot is so blurred, but I think all this back here is just hair. It kind of looks like too much actually because he has it in a ponytail. You probably go like right here, but I can't see. I just you can see the screenshot I'm working from, you can see what I mean. Comment below, tell me what your favorite Telspin characters were. If you were watching the show back in the day. Good theme song. It's one that I like. 
kind of has an islandy feel to it. So I think this show is, I think, if I remember right, that's where they were based at. It's like an island somewhere. I'm really realizing how much I don't remember from these shows. Like, I can't remember what any of the plots were about. I can't remember what happened. It would be fun to watch these again, maybe when my son is a little bit older. All right, I'm going to call that good. Wildcat from Tailspin.